I often think that th giving something a theme is maybe one of the easiest things to bestow upon some cardboard. It's all about art and tokens and representation through the mechanics. And as long as there's enough of a tie-in, then you'll just about get away with it. We've all spent time playing games where the theme was there, sitting at the table beside you, steadily getting more embarrassed as it realised that actually it might have not bothered sitting down at all, because no one would have missed if it never bothered its arse turning up. It doesn't affect the fun to be had, but you could still have had that time without needing to think you were a pirate. In other games, the theme <laughs> takes you to a different level, almost making you kind of live in the moment. And for that brief of seconds, the table falls away and you're standing there. Then the game has clutched you in its hand and it's slowly squeezing you for every bad decision you've made. But oh my goodness, you're forgiven it because it's cardboard and yet somehow it's making you live in that moment. And these cards shouldn't be making you feel tense or thrilled or pissed off within the space of two minutes. This is how the captain is dead makes me feel. Well, it kind of makes me feel like I'm in the last 10 minutes of maybe a badly produced kind of sci-fi space opera, whatever you want to call it, Star Treks, Star Warring, whatever. But the main thing is, the captain's dead and you've got very, very little time to kind of sort it out. Now to you, this maybe looks like just a simple piece of plastic with a green picture on it. But to me, this is my science officer. And if they go into the science lab, instead of hanging out in the infirmary, then maybe, well, maybe things would be a little bit better. The Captain is Dead by AEG is one of these games where you're gonna fail and you're gonna fail and you're gonna be failing laughing. And one of the reasons it does that is by the offset, you are always starting behind. You're always starting behind. You're always faced every turn with one of these, which is an alert card. And normally, yellow alert is fine. But in this case, the captain is dead. So yellow alert, it's a bit dodgy, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. And then you would think, well, red alert must be terrible. And you'd be right in thinking that. Orange alert, however, is just really rather pretty nasty as well. The idea of the game is quite simple. You basically need to get your hyperdrive working again so you can get the Falkirk out of Dodge. In practice, you've also got to kind of make sure that your, uh, your shields are fine as well, which would be okay. But if it wasn't for kind of every single round, something bad is just kind of happening. And of course something's going to happen, which is going to be even worse because, let's face it, the captain is dead. You'll be having your own little ramshackle crew. There isn't any kind of Han Solos here or any Ripley's or anything like that. You'll have to use missiles to blast aliens away that are off your starboard bow. Except there's no gym to help you because the captain is dead. You'll have uh, resources and the idea is that every single round the alert comes up which requires something else that might be fixed. It might be the transporter which means you can't instantly go from room to room. It might be it might be some other part which means that you have to then go and fix that in order to make things kind of happen. Yes, there's upgrades, but they take a long time to get. Yes, the captain is dead, but he's left you some battle plans. And sometimes they help, but all they're doing is they're just holding off this huge deck from coming and slamming down on your characters and kicking their arses and making you struggle. And if this sounds like the worst thing to ever happen in a board game, then that's great, because that's what it is. 
because it's fantastic because all the time you might have aliens coming on board who you have to kill and even if you get knocked down you have to drag yourself about it's all just very very horrific and terrible but that's because the captain is dead but what you do get in this game is you get a sense of rising panic you get a sense of frustration you get plans the getting smashed against the hull as once again they're trying to reason with each other as to what course of action they should be taking and in that way you actively see people talk quicker to each other you actively see gesturing happening you actively see miniature falls out so people who should have gone here instead go there because they've got a card that think that makes it that they can go ahead and they can fix the armory so that they can destroy the aliens and all this time the shields are dropping the hyperdrive isn't getting fixed because nobody's giving orders because the captain is dead show it to somebody who's never played a game before or what we would term a modern game watch them panic watch them eat it up watch them enjoy it watch them want to come back for more insist that people who have played this game or played many other games play this game as well because it it's not pandemic is clinical pandemic is a can be quarterbacked as well in this case there's nobody there in charge because the captain is dead and sometimes it's a case of who can shout the loudest and the furthest but again even seasoned gamers might fall apart when they're playing this and there's something very glorious to watch there's something very wonderful to watch and you know you should all be sad because at the end of the day the captain is dead but after a couple of games of this I'm just going to ask the question why are you smiling? This is We're Not Wizards My name's Richard We were not paid for this game We were not paid for the review If you like what you've watched then please consider dropping us a subscription and a like as it helps to grow the channel But most of all stay safe Roll sixes and till the next time, exterminate, exterminate, exterminate. That's the wrong show, isn't it? Live long and prosper, Luke.